Hi, it's starting out with the grill. And it's been a year of ownership now with my Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boom Pellet Smoker. It's been out here through winter and basically I'll get it unwrapped, just do a test startup, see if it's uh, still working smooth after a year. But had some pretty rough weather in this area as far as rain and winter and such, and now things are starting to give way a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up, try and do a test startup. Alright, so we got it all in a wrap now, and this is the Daniel Boone a year later. Um, just going to show you around it a bit for you who don't know. Uh, pellet smokers are a good way to smoke meat without having to go through the chore and toil of owning an offset smoker. An offset smoker, you know, you got to load the logs yourself and such. Pellet smokers are able to feed the pellet, feed wood pellets that basically make smoke and smoke and cook your meat. But um, this rack here on the front is something that I added myself separately. They sell that separately. So add that on there. I'm going to be doing a quick test startup. So I'm not going to be putting the drip pan or the drip cup down. But there's a drip cup that goes down under there usually when you're you know, doing a lot of smoke and meat and such. I did notice, you know, I'm seeing some rust stains right there on the front. See a little rust spot down there on the bottom. Nothing rusting through though, so they're still pretty decent. Um, inside here, you know, I cleaned it up before um, the winter, so it's still nice and clean in there. Inside, I'm not seeing uh, much of any rust visible here. I know down in the bottom, there's a little bit of rust down in the bottom area there that I saw at the end of... Uh, grilling season last year but it's nothing too nothing too bad yet <laughs> um, you can see around back here and just give you a look around bottom now this is the pellet hopper now the pellet hopper you know the amount of time that the pellets last varies based on temperature cooking cooking temperature outdoor conditions and such but I usually can get maybe four or five hours out of a um, filling this thing up before the pellet alarm starts going off and beeping. The cool thing is when it does beep, the app also gives a signal when you connect it to the app. So it's always real convenient because the app's connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to be you know, far away from the grill and get an alert that I'm low on pellets and come fill it up if I need to. Okay, so I'm going to look around the side here. I mean, things are holding up pretty decent. I think um, compared to my Weber though, I think my Weber showing less room, less uh, signs of wear. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the Weber. This is my my Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap that just so we can see. Alright, so here's my Weber Genesis 2 E310 propane gas grill. And as you can see there you know, it doesn't have any signs of rust wear at all on the exterior. So, um, this Weber Genesis 2 is two years old. So, it's about two years old. So, you know, it's two year, about two year anniversary here and about one year anniversary over there. And I think over here, from the signs of things rusting that I'm seeing, I would, uh, suspect that this one won't last as long as this one, this Weber, and this Weber comes with a 10 year warranty, the Danny Boone comes with a shorter warranty. So there's the back of the E310, now inside we've got a good bit of a, looking like the, my stainless steel is showing some rust signs there, but I think if I clean them up they'll be okay. The stainless steel should be, should be okay. I can clean it. It's got a barkeeper's friend on it, and it should be fine. Flavorizer bars are showing some signs of some rust and wear. Inside here, I'm seeing some rust spots, but I don't think it's like, it's not like a rust through type rust. So I don't think it's too bad, too big of a problem. Probably just clean some things up a little bit. It'll probably be fine. I think some of that's just food. Uh, even though I cleaned it up some, probably some food stains there. 
But two years later, I think it's it's holding up decent, you know. I think for two years. I think the Daniel Boone probably won't look as good as the Weber after two years, in my opinion. That's just my opinion there. But I'm going to go ahead and just start them both up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I've got my app open now. I'm going to go ahead and start it through the app because I've already connected. So I'm just going to power on the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone and click confirm. And I've just started it up. And it's um, sounding like the auger's moving. It's uh, showing stage zero. It goes to these stages to get started up. So while that's getting started up, and you know, I just want to see if it just starts increasing in temp, just an initial uh, kickoff run. I'm going to go ahead and get the Weber started up real quick just to see how it starts up. All right, so the Weber Genesis 2 E310, just going to try and start it up. You know, this is the first start, um, first start in, you know, since winter, since last, last grilling season. And the first burner just started up, second burner, third burner. All right, see the flame. The Weber Genesis 2 E310 is good to go for grilling. Um, I just wanted to see it fire up, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this one down. I'm feeling the heat. Let's shut this one up. Alright, so the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone pellet smoker is firing up. You're seeing some smoke coming off of it. Those pellets are starting to burn. The temperature is increasing. So it's up to 62 degrees now and continuing to rise. So basically the Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone is ready for action. The Weber Genesis 2 Propane Gas Grill is ready for action. And we can get to doing some work grilling. I'll have um, some good things we'll have coming, Lord willing, this year. But uh, now you've got to see the Weber Genesis 2 two years later. The Green Mountain Grills Daniel Boone one year later just to see, you know, real world, how do they look, how they work in after some time. So uh, this is just to kick off the new grilling season here. And I do hope that you like this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumb there. <laughs> All right, you can uh, leave some comments. You can share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel and good eating.